Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is OK Mall, and today we're going to be going over the brewery quest. In case you were not aware, there are two ways to do the brewery quest outside of just murdering every single NPC. And I'll be covering that in today's video. Now, before we can even start the brewery quest, the first step is to talk to the elder and complete his first task. Now that we've found the elder, let's talk to him. What do you need? Yep, just keep listening. And what about affording a mercenary dying? Business as usual. You gotta accept the bandit's den quest. Fine and good. Perfect, now that that is accepted, you need to go knock out that quest and we'll meet back up with the elder. So we just finished that first contract. We talked to the elder and we get our rewards. The bandit den has been fulfilled. Gives us plenty enough gold. Now that his first task is completed, we now have to talk to him and say, I'm done with the first task. What's next? He'll briefly explain what he wants us to do next, and in this case, we have to travel over to the Oaken Barrel Brewery. And according to the Elder, the brewery has been captured by brigands, so essentially he wants to take over the brewery by killing everybody there. So we'll keep listening. Now in this part of the dialogue, instead of just flat out accepting it, we would like to learn more. He explains that a driver went to the brewery just to come back empty-handed. And according to the story, there was bandits milling around the building. And after that, Odar sends out some guards to confirm the story. Odar then assumes that the owners are dead and that it's been taken over by bandits. Odar assumes they have murdered Dwar, who is the previous miller. He goes on to say they chased the bandits off, but likely they're back for vengeance. Anything else? We say it, we're on it. Good, continue the conversation. So about the brewery, never mind. So let's head out and we'll talk to the carpenter next. And now that we're at the carpenter, we pick option three. Now according to the carpenter, the elder's not a very good man. Basically a tyrant. He goes on to say that the Elder just holds himself up in the office, making himself look all important. He continues saying that the Elder mooches off the lives of the villagers, and Odar isn't a local. And then continues to rant that he's living off the backs of the villagers. He mentions that there was a guy named Dwar who stood up to Odar, which leads us to believe that there's a conflict between the Elder and the brewery. He essentially says if you want to be on his good side, suck up to Odar. At this stage in the conversation, we can ask what happened to Dwar. He basically says, I don't know what you're talking about. Now we can actually open the dialogue of, hey, about Dwar. Dwar, what Dwar? Don't play dumb. The Dwar you told me about. Who is he and what happened? Never heard about him? Just mind your own business. Stop sticking your nose into mine. In this case, we can actually bribe him with a few crowns. We don't want to hit him. And I think it costs 100. Yes, it's 100. Go ahead and give him the 100 crowns. Right, about Dwar. He explains that Dwar was the old miller. And after the previous elder died, they wanted Dwar to become the new elder. But the magistrate had other plans. And because of this, Odar and Dwar began to butt heads. He proceeds to say that after a couple of months of Odar's arrival, the mill was attacked by bandits. And that it's never happened before. Oddly suspicious. And during the raid, the whole village could hear Dwar and his family being murdered. What did Odar do? Now that's where it's interesting. And in this case, Odar is just a coward who gets the guards to chase the beasts away from the village. But oddly enough, that day he didn't lift a finger, saying, we should wait it out. And by the end of the day, the bandits had left by themselves, without taking anything, except for two sacks of flour. Two days after that, Odar's brother took over the mill, and he's been running it ever since. Obviously he doesn't want us to tell Odar anything, but we won't. And now that we've gathered enough information, we can head over to the brewery, where I will show you both methods. Method 1, murdering everybody. Method 2, helping out the brewery, and disobeying Odar's commands. The first method is very simple. We walk up and we initiate combat with each and every single individual at the brewery until there is none left standing. Very simple. This method, however, doesn't really leave us with very many benefits. Method two, however, is I would say the preferred method. Let's go over here and talk to this guy. Uh, he's going to be the first to engage with us. And as you can tell, you can immediately start fighting with him. If you say, fine, fine, I'm leaving, nothing happens, essentially. But in this case, we are going to be doing option two. So hold on, what's going on here? And you don't look like a bandit. At this point, he'll just question us. Just let him know you're here to investigate. And at this point, Barm says he's also a mercenary hired to protect the brewery. And doesn't really want to say much more about that. At this point, he defers our questioning to Old Crom and calls him over. This here's old Krom. He'll question us about who sent us, and obviously it's Odar. Just agree, say yes, this is uh, Odar that sent us. Eventually, he'll ask us what Odar promised us in return for basically killing everybody here. 
to which we'll reply a cart and two horses. Never expect things to get this dire, obviously not. And at this point, Crom will give us an alternative method for gaining a horse and a cart. I'm obviously going to accept this deal as long as we get that cart. I might as well help you instead. Keep listening and then until next time. So one thing you'll notice is that the quest is now changed to Odar's thugs. Find the brigand den. Look at our map here. It's usually located like one or two tiles away. So we'll head that way next. Now be mindful when you attack the bandits. I do believe there's a good four to five enemies that will rush you. So just be careful. If you need to run away and try to lure them out one by one, but ultimately just kill them all off. And I've alerted all four of them. Not really a fan of fighting four people at once. So I'm just gonna skip ahead of this until they're all cleared out. Once you've killed all the enemies here, be sure to hop inside of this building and take this note. And you may as well loot this chest while you're at it. And now that you've finished your task, you can head back to the Oaken Barrel. Talk to Krom again and let him know that the Brigands are now dead. He's obviously really happy about it, so just keep listening. He informs us that the cart will be ready in a couple of days. Honestly, it's just going to be you going to turn the quest in and coming on back. It doesn't really take two days. He proceeds to thank us and says that we're a decent person. And now that we've saved the brewery, it's time to head back to Osbrook, where we inform the Elder that we know what he's been up to. As soon as you're back in Osbrook, we can then confront Odar about the brewery. So we'll talk. Say, you thought you could pull a fast one on us, eh? Enough with your games. Now, it doesn't matter what option we pick. They'll all lead to the same choice at the end. Keep listening. Keep listening. So I've done both of these, so you guys don't have to. The very top choice will lead you to have a negative 600 reputation with Osbrook, whereas the bottom option, it's probably the better of the two, will give you 500 crowns and only lower your reputation by 400. Interesting how that works out, but there we have it. Beautiful, we got 500 coins, and we'll compare the reputation between the two of them. Versus the other one where we don't get 500 gold and still lose 600 reputation. As soon as you're done talking with Odar, it's time to inform Varen that our task is now completed. Inform Varen that we now have the cart and horses. We inform Varen that to get the horse and buggy, we do have to travel over to the Oaken Barrel. Let him know, it's just a long story. And that's it. Next, we gotta go to the Oaken Barrel. As soon as you're back in the Oaken Barrel, be sure to stop in here and talk to Krom. Because this is where the benefits come into play. Let's open up his uh, inventory, and as you notice, he sells these kegs. Now, these kegs can be purchased for 250 gold. Let me reorganize my gear. I should be able to pick up two of these. There you have it. The benefit of buying these for 250 is that we can make our way all the way back to Osbrook, and you can sell these for about 450 crowns or so to the innkeeper, which is a profit. So, not a bad early game decision at all. Once you're done talking to Krom and you've gathered up your barrels of beer, it's time to talk to Varen. And one last thing I would like to show you guys. Let's go ahead and sell our barrel of beer for 450 gold. Fantastic. Love to see it. I hope you guys found this guide helpful. I, for one, didn't know that there was two ways of doing the brewery for about the first 60 hours of playtime. So if you found this guide helpful, smash that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And with all that out of the way, y'all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.